Welcome back to another race for you guys. My name is Tyler, and today is night number two of the World of Outlaws trip to the I-55 Raceway in Peebley, Missouri. Last night, we saw Brad Sweet charge through the field quick and early and got up front in front of Craig Kinzer and Logan Schuhart to pick up his fourth win of the season, his third win in a row as the 49 KKR team is rolling right now. Last night, like I said, Craig Kinzer comes home in second, and it's so good to see that 11K, Mikey Kemper and Craig Kinzer getting that car back and winning form. Craig looked so fast last night. He's in the top 10 in points, and this is one of the best starts to a Word of Outlaw season that he's seen in quite a while, so congratulations to Craig. And then, like I said, Logan Schuhart keeping up with Brad, charges through the field from the eighth row and comes home in third. Guys that struggled last night were David Gravel. David missed the transfer in his heat race, had to come from the B, started in the rear of the feature, and then comes home in an eighth place finish. James McFadden started on the pole, was battling for third with Sheldon Hodgeshield, got into the inside wall, damaged the left front tire, and had to come from the rear of the field just to salve with an 11th place finish. And then Donnie Schatz leading to almost halfway and looking for win number 300, his first win of the 2021 season in DNF. Engine troubles for the 15 continues to plague that team. So everybody will be looking to get back on track and Brad Sweet will look to extend his points lead. Here's how the points stack up. Few changes here and there, but pretty much the same. Sheldon Hodenshield is still looking to climb forward. Definitely look for the track to be a lot like it was last night. We got 40 laps, probably the same car count, and it's gonna be ripping fast. As always, make sure you guys like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so that you can stay up on all the Word of Outlaw races, not just on a night-to-night -night basis, but I love being able to go back and watch how the night progressed and the weekend before progressed prior to the race that's coming up. That's why I do these videos is because you know, there, there's only so much that you can get from watching a feature highlight. You don't really see the action that got us to that point, like qualifying. You know, who got to go out first? Who was out second? And, and did that put them behind the eight ball? Who missed the transfers into their heat races? Heat races this year have been so fun to watch. And tonight I can expect about the same thing. So like I said, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. It helps me out and it helps you out. Let's get right into some action. Night number two of the Word of Outlaws trip to the I-55 Raceway. Alrighty guys, so we got 26 cars in the pits tonight, $10,000 on the line again, 40 laps around the I-55 raceway. Fastest in hot laps tonight was Sheldon Hoddenshield setting a quick time of 10.2, and then we went right into qualifying. The track is really kind of hard, as we would expect, you know, coming off of the night before, anytime that the World of Outlaws kind of double up on the weekend, the track's a little bit slower and harder on that second night. The I-55 track crew is going to do a great job prepping the track for the feature, but I got a feeling that in heat races, it's going to be pretty interesting as the track is already going through a pretty slick transition. Fastest in qualifying tonight was David Gravel. David Gravel set a time of 10.2. He went out in the middle of qualifying, so it was it was really interesting to see how the track was you know, changing lines a little bit, but was maintaining speed. The last car to go out in qualifying was Sheldon Hodenshield, and he set a quick time of 10.3. So a lot of guys were stacked in that 10.3, 10.4 range. I think there were like 17 cars within a few hundredths of a second of each other. So gonna be a very competitive night tonight. Second fastest, he went out third in qualifying tonight was Geo Selzy. Geo Selzy actually changed an engine in his debut last night at I-55, and tonight they'll do the same. Hopefully they can get the engine changed before his heat race because he'll start from the pole of heat race number two. Third fastest is the rookie of the year point leader, Aaron Wright. So Aaron went out first and set a really quick time of 10.2 as well. David beat him by just a few hundredths of a second. Aaron qualifies third fastest tonight. Jason Sides, fourth fastest. Last night's winner is Brad Sweet. He qualifies fifth fastest. He was in the middle of qualifying as well. And then Sam Haferteep, who went early in qualifying, qualifies sixth fastest. Again, I give you the top six because that's gonna be the front row of their heat races. Heat races are 10 laps tonight. Top two are gonna go to the dash, top six to the feature. So let's hop right into heat races. Heat races always go by quick at I-55. David Gravel was starting on the pole of heat race number one, and next to him was Jason Sides, and they would finish that way. David Gravel bouncing back from missing the transfer into the feature, having to come through the B last night, is going to start up front tonight within the top six as he will go to the dash with Jason Sides. Zach Hampton was running in third and then had some nose wing damage. Guys were starting to get by him really quickly. Rico Abreu got by him, and then Zach was holding off Brock Zierfossen on the final lap. Brock Zierfoss gets through the whoops entering turn number three and four and flips hard in three and four. He'll go to the B main tonight likely. And then Zach Hampton got in to the A main tonight with a transfer. 
He raced number two, would have Gio Selzy after an engine change after his qualifying effort starting on the pole, and he would win heat race number two. Starting next to him was Brad Sweet, last night's winner, and both of them will go to the dash. Donnie Schatz was on the outside looking in to get a transfer spot after a poor qualifying effort and does. He finishes in sixth and will come from the middle of the pack tonight. Also transferring in was Craig Kinzer. He finished in third, Scotty Thiel, and Brian Brown. He race number three would have the rookie of the year point leader, Aaron Reitzel, starting on the pole, and he would go on to win heat race number three. Sam Hayfertip was starting to his outside and would slide back to fourth after a battle with Jacob Allen he would finish in third Sheldon Hodenshield quickly charged from third up to second in corner number one on lap number one and he finishes in second on the final lap he was really starting to close in the track is really starting to widen out the bottom is definitely very fast tonight the top is starting to get up closer and closer to the wall seems to be a lot faster um, getting up to the top than we were last night but it'll be interesting to see just how the track crew keeps up with the track all night long. I'm sure the bottom will be quick and the uh, top. And through the middle, Sheldon in one and two was actually running that same sort of line that Craig Kinzer last night was running, where you know some of that mud gets kicked up from the bottom and you can kind of get some grip and run through the middle. Sheldon was starting to do that and closing in on Aaron late in the heat race. PM got in tonight feature with a sixth place finish tonight in his heat race and another guy that got into a transfer spot ahead of ppm was last night's pole sitter james mcfadden the dash is going to set the top three rows tonight it's going to go eight laps drawing the pole for the dash at the random redraw was last night's winner brad sweet and he wins by a mile in front of a war that was waged for the outside front row starting spot that was won by geo selzy geo selzy Crossed the lines with Aaron Reitzel multiple times. Aaron was charging from the last row in the dash to that third spot. Was running great on the bottom, really being able to go wherever he kind of wanted to put the car. And that Roth Motorsports number 83 is looking to be up front tonight. Last night was Aaron's best finish at the track, and he finished seventh after qualifying towards the back, charging through the field. Tonight, he starts towards the front. Sheldon Hodenshield finished in fourth. David Gravel, the quick timer on the night, finished in fifth. And Jason Sides will round out the top three rows for tonight's feature. The B main would have eight cars in it, and we would transfer six. Brock Zierfoss, after wrecking and heat race number one on the final lap, would be coming from the B main. And on the outside, looking in at the start, Ayrton Jenison wins the B main. Following him was Wayne Johnson, Tucker Klossmeyer, Mason Daniel will transfer into tonight's feature. Carson Short gets in, and then at the line by 11 one thousandths of a second, the rookie Brock Zierfoss passes Clinton Boyles to get into tonight's feature. On the outside looking in and going home will be Clinton Boyles, and nine laps into the B main, Noah Gass wrecked another race car after, ten, after last night's wreck as well. We're on to the feature event. Feature's gonna look like this. We got Brad Sweet starting on the pole tonight, and next to him is gonna be Geo Selzy in just his second trip to the raceway, starting on the outside of the defending World of Outlaws champion at the I-55 raceway. 40 laps for $10,000. You know a lot is gonna be changing throughout the race, including the track. Going into three and four, we got some whoops, and you basically have to go either underneath of it or rip the top to be able to get through there really clean. In one and two, you can pretty much go anywhere. I think the bottom is definitely gonna be the place to be come the middle to the end of the race. Off of one and two was fast life last night, and I look for it to be there tonight. Starting in the fourth row, inside of the fourth row is Logan Schuhart, and right in front of him is David Gravel, who was the quick timer on the night. I got a feeling David has left a little bit in the tank to be able to be fast in the feature. Brad Sweet's gonna be starting up front, and on the outside of row number two is Sheldon Hodenshield. Look for Sheldon to get to the bottom early on, and then just stay with Brad and be patient. Last night, with Donnie Schatz having that broken heim halfway through the race, that was devastating for them. It's so hard to tell how the whole feature will go. 40 laps around this track is a long way. It's jet fighters in a gymnasium, so let's get right into it. Brad Sweet starting on the pole is looking to become the first pole sitter in 2021 to win a World of Outlaws feature. And right off the bat, he gets out to the early lead in front of Gio Selzy and Sheldon Hodenshield as David Gravel, Aaron Reitzel, and Logan Schuhart are all searching around fighting for that fifth and sixth position. We would get to lap traffic in about five laps and Brad was already cutting through traffic ahead of Gio Selzy. Gio and Sheldon were definitely keeping up with Brad. We got 10 laps into the race and we were getting into really heavy lap traffic. Brad was having to check up behind guys like Brian Brown and Jacob Allen as they were getting lapped running 16th. Brad was pretty much able to go wherever he needed to go. The top was definitely a lot faster than the bottom tonight, but the bottom was still pretty quick. All the lappers seemed to be running on the bottom, so most of the leaders were running up top. Sheldon and Gio were definitely closing in on Brad and then 
With 15 laps to go, Tucker Klossmeyer and Eric and Jen Jenison get together and Tucker brings out the red flag. We have a complete double file restart and Brad would get out to the lead again. He was out in front by about two seconds when the red flag came out and he would be there again really quickly. Back to lap traffic within about five laps and we would be ripping the top. Donnie Shots at this point, after starting in like the ninth row, was already up into 10th and right before the red flag came out, he was about to get laps, so a huge break for him. Donnie just was not you know, anywhere near the front tonight, kind of put himself behind the eight ball, finishing towards the back in his heat race, and he would struggle to get through the field tonight. We get to lap traffic with 10 to go, and Sheldon was lurking, staying within about a, uh, a second of Brad's sweep, but just could not close in. Brad was able to go wherever he needed to go, whenever he needed to get there. He could be in the middle of the corner and the car could slide up on him and he'd be straight to the bottom and get around them. I mean, it, it was so impressive and they were talking about it on the broadcast. We haven't seen something like this in quite a while from a sprint car racer, let alone Brad Sweet. And it's so impressive to watch him, whether he starts behind the eight ball or he starts on the pole of a feature, yes. he looks so good. Yes. Coming to the checkered flag, yes. Brad Sweet wins his yes. fifth race of the 2021 season in the fourth in a row this is so impressive last year winning his second championship brad didn't win more than two races in a row and right now we're really watching brad do brad things the slogan for donnie shots has been donnie doing donnie things whether he started in the back or he started up front always being up front at the end of the race and brad is right there in that category you know guys like steve kinzer donnie shots Brad Sweet is definitely getting into this conversation. Whoa. I've had this conversation with my brother and my best friend about this, and it's so impressive just what he's been able to do for the short amount of time that he's been in the series. But Brad is on a different level right now. The 49 team comes off of the truck, whether they draw first on the pill or they draw last on the pill, that car is up front by the end of a feature event with World of Outlaws every night. Brad will definitely extend his point lead tonight. Second was Sheldon Hodden Shield. He'll probably slide ahead of David Gravel in the points. Gio Selzy, in just his second trip to the I-55 Raceway, brings home a podium finish after you know scrambling last night with an engine change, and then tonight another engine change. Congratulations to Gio Selzy. And then we had other guys like Logan Schuhart and David Gravel and Aaron Wrightsville finishing up towards the front. I think the hard charger on the night was definitely James McFadden. He started in 15th. Finished in fifth, coming to the line, he passed, I think, David Gravel for fifth. So uh, congrats to J-Mac on the hard charger on the night. Here's how they finished up. Next weekend, we'll be back for some more bullring action with the World of Outlaws. I thank you guys so much. As always, make sure you like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you can stay up on the next video. We'll see you at the next track.